Alright, hey, when I posted my video on how to get a nice orbit, um, there was a couple comments on how to uh, uh, eke out just, just something that worked a little better. If you were still having a little trouble, uh, it's one of those things that's hard until you really just do it and you get a feel for it. And even then, um, getting a good orbit is kind of difficult. Um, so right here, I am going to have a video of an orbit that I did recently today for the purpose of uh, showing you a nice, uh, very circular orbit. Um, and so if you see my mouse bouncing around I'm, as I'm playing the game, I'm kind of pointing out things, what I'm actually thinking about and doing, uh, just to bring your attention to things. And so uh, uh, this rocket is very simple, just a, uh, a double single stack at the top, uh, three double uh, stacks at the bottom and then a couple solid boosters to get me in the air. Um, right now I just pointed out that uh, I just finished half of my uh, second stage and I'm still heading up but I'm gonna get to about uh, 10 uh, to 15 kilometers and um, th at that point I'm gonna lean it over and just start start edging it over. Of course atmosphere is at 35 kilometers approximately um, so you definitely don't want to start leaning your rocket over until uh, really re leaning it over. I'll lean it over a little bit, see right here, and uh, but you really don't want to really crank it over until you get to that point. Uh, so I'm heading up sort of at an angle, and I'm just kind of pointing out. You, the big thing for this is really watch the mouse and also uh, some of the gauges. If you're if you're playing the game and you're watching your rocket the whole time, um, you're not really doing it right. I mean you can still watch a rocket, but you really need to pay attention to your gauges. You fly by your gauges, uh, you can fly your rocket without even looking at things, without looking at the rocket itself. Um, so here I, I dropped my uh, uh, second stage, and so we're on the final stage of this, and we're going to just kind of coast through this. You can see here we just hit 35 kilometers, and so I'm going to really crank this thing over because, um, as you can see, if you look right up at that... Uh, uh, gauge at the top, well, I'm pointing at the gauge at the bottom, but if you look at the gauge at the top, we're still flying up high. Um, and so I'm actually going to throttle down a little bit because we're still accelerating upward. Um, or I shouldn't say we're not accelerating upward, we're still traveling upward. We really want to be traveling uh, horizontally. And so that yellow um, uh, marker on the gimbal at the bottom there really needs to start. Uh, getting towards that horizon, but we want to get it at the horizon at the same time that we get to our orbiting velocity, which is about 23, uh, 23 uh, kilometers per second. So we're, we're plenty there, and you can see I'm bouncing around the throttle just because I'm still flying up at a great pace, and so I'm, I'm kind of feathering it. I want to get to about to, to 15, 16 kilometers, or excuse me, 15 to 1600 uh, meters per second and the reason why I'm doing this is still because I'm flying upwards and so I want to get rid of a lot of that momentum before I accelerate again. If I accelerate to my proper velocity um, I'll still be going up too much and I'll have kind of a funny looking orbit and so I'm just going to let myself ease in there and so look at that uh, part the we're looking at the throttle um, the uh, speed at which we're going we're also looking at that little round dial at the top and that is going to show us how uh, um, how fast we're rising or falling, and that's very key. And so I see we're getting uh, it, that we're we're not rising as fast. And so I'm going to get up to about uh, 2,000 meters per second. And we're still going to be two or three hundred um, meters a second short, but that's okay because we're still heading upwards. We're going to try to get to our our, our goal, which is around seven. Uh, 75 kilometers, um, and we're getting pretty close, and so we're just kind of kind of coast upwards. Um, and so what we're doing is we're actually just kind of letting ourselves drift down. We're getting closer and closer, but we're going to look very closely to that round dial. Um, and so we're just we're easing in, and this is this is kind of the point where uh, you know KSM just really makes for bad uh, let's play videos, just because you just there's a lot of waiting. Be very patient. At this point, I could crank it up, get to that right speed you know, really pound it home, call it a day, but here even now I'm, I'm still just slightly under our orbiting velocity. If I left it here and went away we'd probably end up crashing into the ocean somewhere. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna 
keep that we're going to ease it up as and we're just kind of kind of meet them in the middle so we, we bring up our speed just as the rocket's starting to uh get to that that uh that apex that um apogee that that highest slowest point and when we get to that point we're going to accelerate up but it's just a matter of uh taking time and you can see here i'm just coasting it out and uh the the uh the thing that you might want to do is just oh, okay we we're pretty close to our point we just want to gun it and go and just just be a little patient we're going to get this try to get this nice and round uh, and the point of having a nice round um orbit is one it looks really cool to be like oh man my my dials aren't hardly moving well that's pretty cool um and so that's a nice pride thing to do you can see i'm starting to pointing out that it's starting to uh uh, my rising is getting a little slower, a little slower, and so I'm going to start feathering the throttle a little bit, trying to make it uh, just just getting things nice. And the whole time, you'll also notice on the gimbal that I'm adjusting myself continually. And the reason why we're adjusting the rocket is because as we rotate the Earth, the rocket will still point in the same direction, but its direction relative to the Kerth, actually not Earth, Kerth, the Kerth will change, so we'll slightly drift. And once we get going, this is a really handy thing to use because it'll actually tell us how far around um, the planet we've gone. Because the the rocket will actually look like it's rotating. Um, but here we're we're just letting it go. Um, we're letting ourselves just be very patient, getting something around, waiting till apogee. Uh, here, it, apogee's coming up. We're still below our 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 um, our 23 uh, hundred meter per second goal. And so as this is coming down, we're we're still just giving a little throttle here and there, giving a little blips, just because we want to really even that out. And you notice we have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, about half a tank of fuel left, a little more than half a tank, and this is plenty. When you're out of the atmosphere, when you're in space, you can do amazing amounts of maneuvers. Uh, so here I am, just kind of adjusting things, turning the SAS off, doing a tiny adjust, turning the SAS back on. So here, I'm just about at apogee. Um, I'm all, pretty much right on my goal, which is really nice. Um, and we're just we're just going to kind of coast this out, and we're just going to be very patient. And so here you can see I'm pointing with my mouse that that number those numbers are going up very very slowly, and this just means that we're we're starting to get there. We're just going to make some magic things happen. If you look at our speed, um, we're we're going about uh, 50 meters per second slower than our goal. Um, and so here we're just about to and there we go we're we're sitting at our apogee um, and so one of the things that you might do right now is just because we're going too slow slowly increase up to that proper speed adjust relax there see I have a little burst there just doing some nice bursts be very patient with it this is one of those things where you're just trying to uh, you're basically in an orbit and you're just trying to feather some things out making making the uh, your your um, orbit very nice and the reason why we really want to do this orbit not just for that pride reason for that look look how awesome this is but also it's a nice basis for other really cool maneuvers and I'm gonna make uh, uh, a video about two maneuvers I've been doing a little research and uh, on how to um, do things like change orbits and things like that and so there's a couple really cool maneuvers that having a nice stable orbit does um, so here you can just see, I mean, it's really, it's almost painstaking. Um, if I were to find myself going too fast at this point, uh, one thing I can do is I can actually flip my rocket around and uh, do a retro burn to slow myself down. I've done that a few times. Just flip around, retro burn, flip over if you need to, wherever. Sometimes you might find, you know what, I'm going about the right speed. See, I've actually just hit my, just about hit my target. Uh, I'm going at the right speed. Uh, I'm still moving downward, but I'm moving downward slowly, and so I'm going to move down to that perigee and back up to the apogee, and you know, back and forth. And so I'm I'm just trying to make those the difference between that those heights as slim as possible. Um, but it's it's very smooth. My speed isn't going up and down very quickly. Um, I'm dropping by only a few meters per second. Not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Very smooth. Um, but it just just being very patient makes a huge difference in this whole thing. And so. Uh, slide in there, make adjustments. Sometimes you have to point backwards, retro burn. Sometimes you have to point down and and do an upward firing. Sometimes you have to point uh, up and shoot yourself down a little farther. All those are perfectly fine. Just a matter of just fine tuning everything, being patient. And sometimes it just doesn't happen 
the first time. But keep going, give it a try, get a nice uh, orbit, and have some fun.